Welcome to morning prayer on this Wednesday, September 29th, also St. Michael and All Angels Day. Please turn to page 78 of your Book of Common Prayer. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Turning to page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name amen almighty god have mercy on us forgive us all our sins through our lord jesus christ strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the holy spirit keep us in eternal life amen the earth is the lord's for he made it come let us adore him Please turn to page 82, and we'll read the Venite together. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hands, are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Our psalms this morning are Psalm 8 and Psalm 148, beginning on page 592 of your Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, our governor, how exalted is your name in all the world. Out of the mouths of infants and children, your majesty is praised above the heavens. You have set up a stronghold against your adversaries and the adventure. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have set on the courses. What is man that you should be mindful of him? The son of man that you should seek him out. You have made but little lower than the angels. You adorn him with the glory and honor. You give him mastery over the works of your hands. You put all things under his feet all sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever walks on the paths of the sea. O Lord, our governor, how exalted is your name in all the world. Psalm 148 is on page 805. Alleluia. 
Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you angels of his. Praise him, all you host. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, heaven of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He made them stand fast forever and ever. He gave them a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and fog, tempestuous wind doing his will, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and winged birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the world, young men and maidens, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name only is exalted. His splendor is over earth and heaven. He has raised up strength for his people and praise for all his loyal servants. The children of Israel are people who are near him. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. Who is this that darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up your loins like a man. I will question you, and you shall declare to me. Where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth? Tell me if you have understanding. Who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? On what were its bases sunk? Or who laid its cornerstone when the morning stars sang together and all the heavenly beings shouted for joy? Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Let's turn now to page 95 and say together Canticle 21, You are God. You are God. We praise you. You are the Lord. We acclaim you. You are the eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing an endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The right robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by a son, whom he appointed heir of all things 
through whom he also created the worlds. He is the reflection of God's glory and the exact imprint of God's very being. And he sustains all things by his powerful word. When he had made purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is even is more excellent than theirs. For which of the angels did God say, you are my son, today I have begotten you, or again, I will be his father and he will be my son. And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, let all God's angels worship him. Of the angels, he says, he makes his angel winds and his servants flames of fire. But the son, he says, your throne, O God, is forever and ever. And the righteous scepter is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness beyond your companions. And in the beginning, Lord, you founded the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will all wear out like clothing. Like a cloak, you will roll them up. And like clothing, they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will never end. But to which of the angels has he ever said, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet? Are not all angels spirits in the divine service sent to serve for the sake of those who are to inherit salvation? Hear what the spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. We'll read together Canticle 18, a song to the Lamb on page 93. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Be worshiped and praised, dominus, dominion and splendor forever and evermore. The Apostles' Creed is on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted in a wonderful order the ministries of angels and mortals. Mercifully grant that as your holy angels always serve and worship you in heaven, so by your appointment they may help and defend us here on earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The general thanksgiving is found on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>